back home though? Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's tight. Um, we didn't practice today. I think it's just going to be one of those things that Caleb's got to focus on doing everything he can every day to put himself in position to play. And we'll see and make those decisions as we approach the game, just like we did the other night. You know, however that that goes, wherever it leads to, I don't think there's a, you know, an exact answer to it. It's just going to be a, one of those things he just keeps doing what he can do, and we'll see where it's at. Would it be beneficial if he took a week off, or is it the back is going to be the back regardless? Yeah, that's way above anything I know about. Um, you know, that's why he's working with Vic, he's working with our team docs, and trying to determine all that. But um, at this point, that hasn't been brought up as a as a good solution or a solution. How do you explain Taman's ability to come up with so many loose balls? Um, he has great instincts. He has uh, unbelievable ability to focus and stay in the moment. So part of that is the instincts allow you to react quicker, but it's also if you stay in that moment, you know, you're able to, to read those plays quicker also. Sometimes guys react or become emotional, and he's so he has such a high emotional intelligence that, and then I think it's just want to and, and care factor, and he's obviously got all that. How do I ask this? Because I know what you're going to say. Me either. Um, um, <laughs> the best Big 12 conference race that's happened in a, in a long time, you're interrupting it. What are your, your thoughts on that? The best Big 12 conference race, we're interrupting it? With this at with a game against the SEC. Oh. There's people in our league that make decisions in the best interest of our league, that make scheduling decisions, and it's not something that I have any say in, so I focus on the things I can control. What I can control is to prepare our team to have the best uh, opportunity to win the game on Saturday. Do they take a breath, though? I mean, like, they know this is a, a league game. Um, yeah. They guard against that, I guess. Yeah, we, we continue to... Uh, do everything that we can to keep our guys focused on each day and the day that's in front of them and what they can do to get better on that day, which involves having a good practice, a good film session, all the things they need to do. Um, I think if you ever start you know, looking at who are we playing or this or that, the things you can't control, um, that mentally you, you, you know, you're probably not going to perform your best. So what we're going to do is keep our mental focus on let's get better uh, individually, let's control what we can collectively, and let's get ready to play the game that's in front of us on Saturday because right now that's the only game that matters. Talked a, go ahead. Talked a lot about Taman performing at such a high level as a true freshman in the league, very experienced guard. Just going back though, you know, thinking about Jeremiah's injury, you know, you probably think maybe Tame needs to ease in a little bit more. It changes for him immediately. How, looking back, was, were there moments where you were just like, this kid's ready no matter what? Um, I mean, you don't really ever know that, right? And what I'd say where Taman was, you know, where, where things have gone well for him is how he prepares to be ready for those moments. So I don't know how things would have played out differently with Jeremiah one way or another. It's, um, but what I can say is that with Taman, he's, he stays in the moment. He's so mentally tough. He cares so much. And so he's able to continue to elevate you know, his game in key moments because of his preparation and then his ability to stay locked in. So, um, you know, I think it'd be naive for anybody to say they knew he would play this well. Sure. And it'd also be, I wouldn't want to be on the other side of it saying, I bet he won't play that well. Because even when he has adversity or a challenge during the game, he quickly gets to making positive plays to make us win. Uh, and that says a lot about him. Is there any update on um, nothing new. Um, you know, he goes to the doctor, I think, next week to just kind of get it evaluated uh, to see if he'll be able to return to practice. So, I mean, until he has that appointment and, you know, is either given uh, ability to start practicing or not, we won't know really what the, the timeline is until that, that decision's made. What is shooting playing in a way that seems like it's more impactful than it has been? Yeah, it's all coaching. <laughs> um, <laughs> what took you so damn <laughs> Pacing it. No, I'd say uh, Shun's confidence uh, continues to grow. I think what you see from him, and as we've gotten in the league play, there's more and more multiple effort plays that he makes. 
So his confidence, he feels better. He knows he's at a ball screen. Uh, he's sprinting back. He blocked a shot. He's rebounding at a higher level. Um, I also think how teams play pick and roll a lot of times in our league that, you know, it's you're able to <coughs> put him in certain areas where he can be really effective uh, and making plays and making decisions. And then um, I just think, you know, when a guy's in his last year, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, you get a point, you have that tremendous sense of urgency. You start to think about, like, there was a lot more yesterdays than there is tomorrow in my college career, and I want to finish this thing out the right way. So I'd say he works at it, multiple efforts. Teammates trust him. His confidence is growing, and we're going to continue to elevate him because he's, he's, he's playing really well. Has he figured something out with how you guys are playing defense where he can do everything you're asking in terms of ball pressure and still block shots? Because it seems like he's been a much bigger rim-protecting presence the last weeks or so. I do think so. I think, I, and again, it goes to the multiple effort of I got to be up at the ball screen. I got to sprint back. I got to talk. I see the rotation. I got to go make a play. I got to come over and make a rebound. So, I mean, there's five or six things you have to do well in the possession, and that's we pride ourselves defensively on being a multiple effort fly around team. And I do think over time he understands exactly what that feels like and what it needs to be like and is doing it more frequently. You're seeing a lot more possessions of him doing it maybe than we were a few months ago. What has kind of stood out to you uh, in preparing for Missouri, specifically how they play offensively? Yeah, I mean, certainly fast tempo. Um, they shot the heck out of the ball against Ole Miss the other night. Um, they got they could play a lot of guys, a lot of different combinations. Um, but it's they'll play fast. They'll play with a lot of freedom, confidence. <coughs> um, they can score points in a hurry. They've got, like, a really good ability, especially at home, to, like, scoring bunches so you know like all games us controlling the tempo the way we want us valuing the ball and possessions us getting great shots and getting back in transition defense is has been a common theme for us it's going to be really important in this game because they're at their best when they're in transition